one does not simply walk into Mordor. The Land of Shadow. Oh, hey everybody. Uh, welcome to today's uh, Shattercast, where we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, since uh, tomorrow is going to be March 25th, uh, a day of infamy here in Mordor, uh, but it's also a Tolkien uh, reading day. Uh, so I thought I'd do a little something different. Um, as you can see, I'm in the middle of reading The Fellowship of the Ring. Uh, I guess for the last <clears throat> 40 years or so, I have been reading uh, the Lord of the Rings once a year. And uh, some years I miss it, some years, uh, you know, I just skip it all together. Uh, but in the last couple years, I have been reading it again. And so I thought, you know, with spring coming, uh, this would be a good time to go ahead and uh, pick it up for, for this year. Um, and since it is uh, Tolkien reading day, um, I thought I would go ahead and read a passage from The Fellowship of the Ring. Uh, the Tolkien Society created um, uh, the uh, Tolkien reading day, uh, I think in 2003, uh, and they did it to try to get people to uh, come back to the books uh, more after, you know, the all the promotional stuff about the movies. Uh, I think they wanted to bring people back to uh, reading uh, Tolkien again. Uh, and in this year's um, theme is travel and uh, I think travel and adventure, which is perfect for the, you know, the, the uh, Lord of the Rings and the works of Professor Tolkien. Hey, uh, after I finish reading uh, the Lord of the Rings this time around, all three books, I'm also going to be, I'm excited to read another book I got for the holidays over Christmas, which is uh, this edited uh, version of The Fall of Numenor uh, by Brian uh, Sibley, the uh, Tolkien scholar. Uh, this will really kind of help me dive into... Um, Numenor and everything that's happened there since uh, you know we've got the uh, uh, season two of the Rings of Power coming up I want to make sure I'm completely versed it's been a while since I've read the Silmarillion and this sort of takes everything related to that part of the historic uh, the history of Numenor and puts it together so I'm gonna have some fun reading this too but let's get back to the Fellowship of the Ring. You know, I thought I would uh, read a passage that's less obvious 
uh, you know, I thought about, um, you know, a passage from the Mines of Moria, or maybe the, uh, you know, there was a lot of different kind of dark and spooky uh, scenes I could have chosen, uh, but I thought I'd try something a little bit different. Since it is, uh, since the theme this year is uh, the uh, quest kind of idea of travel and adventure, I thought I would pick the scene where Frodo, uh, Mary, I'm sorry, where uh, Frodo and Sam and Pippin prepared to go out on their journey to begin the quest. And the, the night that they leave um, uh, Bag End. So uh, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and read this excerpt uh, and see what you think. The sun went down. Bag End seemed sad and gloomy and disheveled. Frodo wandered around the familiar rooms and saw the light of the sunset fade into the walls and into the shadows and creep out of the corners. It grew slowly dark indoors. He went out and walked to the gate at the bottom of the path and then on a short way down the hill road. He half expected to see Gandalf striding up through the dusk. The sky was clear the stars were growing bright. It's going to be a fine night, he said aloud. That's good for a beginning. I feel like walking. I can't bear this hanging around anymore. I'm going to start, and Gandalf must follow me. He turned to go back and then stopped, for he heard voices. Just around the corner, by the end of Bagshot Row, one voice was certainly the old gaffer's. The other was strange and somehow unpleasant. He could not make out what it said, but he could hear the gaffer's answers, which were rather shrill. The old man seemed put out. No, Baggins has gone away, went this morning, and my Sam went with him, with all of his stuff he went. Yes, sold out and gone. I see, I tell ye, why? None of my business or yours. Where to? That ain't no secret. He's moved to Buckleberry or some such place. Away down yonder. Yes, it is a tidy way. I've never been so far myself. They're queer folk in the Buckland. No, I can't give you no message. Good night to you. Footsteps went away down the hill and Frodo wondered vaguely why the fact that he did not come up the hill seemed a great relief. I am sick of questions and curiosity about my doings, I suppose, he thought. What an inquisitive lot they all are. He had half a mind to go and ask the gaffer who the inquisitor was, but he thought better of it, or worse. He turned and walked quickly back to Bag End. Pippin was sitting on his pack in the porch. Frodo stepped inside the darkened door. Sam, he said, Sam, time. Coming, sir, came the answer from far within, followed soon by Sam himself wiping his mouth. He had been saying farewell to the beer barrel in the cellar. All aboard, Sam, said Frodo. Yes, sir, I'll last for a bit now, sir. Frodo shut and locked the front door and gave the key to Sam. Run, down to, run this down to your house, Sam, he said. Then cut along the row and meet me as quick as you can at the gate in the lane beyond the meadows. We're not going through the village tonight. Too many ears pricking and eyes prying. Sam ran off at full speed. Well, now we're off at last, said Frodo. They shouldered their packs and took up their sticks and walked around to the corner to the west side of Bag End. Goodbye, said Frodo, looking at the dark blank windows. He waved his hand and then turned and, following Bilbo if he had known it, hurried after Peregrine down the garden path. They jumped over the low place in the hedge at the bottom and took to the fields, passing into the darkness like a rustle in the grasses. And so begins a long journey that will take Frodo away from Bag End and Hobbiton for 
for well over a year or almost a year, I guess. Anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that reading uh, and happy uh, Tolkien reading day. Uh, before we uh, close out today, I, did, I think I'm going to take you guys up to the house and take you into my Tolkien cave, uh, my office. And there's some things up there I wanted to do uh, that I kind of wanted to share with you guys uh, that you'll see in the background of the images that I uh, post in the videos. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and walk back up to the house, walk up the hill, and I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, this is the uh, shot you guys are used to seeing uh, on my shadow cast. <clears throat> so I guess you're going to get to see a little bit behind the scenes today because what I'm planning to do is to take all the, swap out the books I have here in this bookshelf because none of these books here are my Tolkien books. And I have all my Tolkien books over here, which I'll show you guys now. And... This shot just doesn't work as well, so I don't use this bookcase in my background. So what I'm going to be doing today, and I'll kind of give you guys a little uh, peek here, is I'm going to be taking everything from this bookshelf here. Um, I'm going to be moving all of this off. Maybe I'll leave some of the things there on the top because I like that. Um, but move all of this out here and swap it out into this other bookcase. Because as you can see, over here, I've got all my Tolkien books and some of my other fantasy novels here, all my Tolkien video and my other Tolkien books down here. So I'm gonna swap it out so that when you guys are sitting here, or I'm sitting, I should say when I'm sitting here uh, and you guys are looking at the backdrop here. It'll be all my Tolkien stuff. So um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I'm just gonna start pulling it down, uh, probably putting it down here on the table and then putting it back up. Um, and I will let you guys see the whole thing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy.
right, everybody. I think that sort of wraps it up for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, obviously different uh, shadow cast from my uh, regular ones. Um, as you can see here, we now have uh, all of our Tolkien, all of my Tolkien books here and other fantasy novels. Uh, so that sort of, I think, fits uh, the theme of these uh, shadow casts a little bit better. Um, so again, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, something a little bit different this week uh, for uh, Tolkien Reading Day. Um, uh, if you like the content of this video, of course, go ahead and let me know in the comments section below. Uh, you can always give me a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, so until next time, I'll see you guys uh, in the next uh, shadow cast where I have something a little bit interesting uh, that I haven't done for a while. It should be something exciting, something new. Uh, something old becomes something new. So anyway, hope you guys uh, are looking forward to that and I'll see you guys next time.